Her husband has gone mad again by a laratini. He's a rich and layer satire that delves into the absurdities of Nigerian politics, the contradictions of the post-colonial society, and the complexities of gender dynamics in a traditional yet rapidly modernizing culture. Set in the backdrop of post-independence Nigeria, the play is a brilliant exploration of the ways in which they struggle for power and control and distort personal relationships and societal norms. At the heart of the play is Major Raman Leko Brown, the retired military officer who decides to transition into politics. Leko Brown represents a particular type of Nigerian politician who is brash, overconfident, and woefully unprepared for the responsibilities of leadership. His foray into politics is less about a genuine desire to serve the people and more about the personal gains and prestige associated with political office. The play opens with Lake Koja Brown making grand declarations about his political aspirations, but it quickly becomes clear that he is out of his depth. His lack of political acumen and understanding of the changing dynamics of Nigerian society becomes a central theme of the play, offering a sketching critic of the political class that emerged in the wake of independence. Lake Ojo Brown's character is a satirical embodiment of the post-colonial Nigerian man who believes that his military background automatically qualifies him for political leadership. This belief is a reflection of a larger societal issue in post-colonial Nigeria, where many military men assume political office, often to the detriment of the country. Lekoja Brown's arrogance and ignorance are further highlighted by his belief that his wives will unquestioningly support his political ambitions without considering their own needs and desires. The title of the play, our husband has gone mad again. It's a statement on the irrational and often absurd behavior of men in positions of power. In the context of the play, madness refers to the reckless pursuit of political power without regard for its consequences on personal relationships and societal stability. The word again in the title suggests that this is not a new phenomenon, but a recurring one pointing to the cyclical nature of political fooling in Nigeria. One of the key elements of the play is its exploration of gender dynamics. Lekojo Brown is married to three women, Sikira, Mama Rashida, and Lisa, each representing different facets of Nigerian womanhood. Sikira is a young, uneducated village girl who has been married all to Lekojo Brown to secure her father's political support. Mama Rashida is a traditional older woman who represents the values and customs of rural Nigeria. Lisa, on the other hand, is a modern educated woman who has just returned from the United States. She is independent and assertive and challenges the patriarchal norms that her husband represents. The arrival of Lisa sets the stage for the play's central conflict. Upon her return, she discovers that her husband has two other wives, a fact he had concealed from her. Lisa's shock and outrage at this revelation highlight the clash between traditional polygamous practices and modern monogamous ideals. Leko John Brown's attempt to juggle his three wives while pursuing his political ambitions leads to a series of humorous and absurd situations, all of which serve to underscore the place critic of both polygamy and the political incompetence of men like Lekoja Brown. Lisa's character is particularly significant because she represents the voice of reason and modernity in the play. Her education and exposure to Western ideas make her a stark contrast to her husband and his other two wives. She questions the status quo and refuses to accept her husband's authority without challenge. True Lisa, Rotimi critiques the traditional gender roles that subordinate women 
and deny them agency. Lisa's defiance is a call for the empowerment of women and a rejection of the oppressive structures that keep them in subservient positions. The other wives, Sikira and Mama Rashida, also undergo significant development through the play. Sikira, initially portrayed as a naive village girl, begins to assert herself after being encouraged by Lisa. She becomes more aware of her rights and starts to question her position in the household. Mama Rashida, though initially resistant to change, also begins to see the benefits of Lisa's more progressive views. The transformation of these characters reflects the broader theme of change and adaptation in Nigerian society. Rotimi suggests that as a country modernizes, so too must its people, particularly in their attitudes towards gender and power. The place humor is one of its most effective tools for critique. Rotimi uses comedy to expose the ridiculousness of the character's behavior, particularly that of Lekoja Brown. His attempt to manage his household and political campaign simultaneously lead to a series of facial situations that highlight his incompetence. For example, in one scene, Nikoja Brown dresses in his old military uniform and gives a rousing speech to his wives as if they were soldiers under his command. The absurdity of this situation is not lost on the audience and it serves to underscore the fertility of his martial posturing. Another significant aspect of the play is his commentary on the state of Nigerian politics. The Kojo Brown's political ambitions are not driven by a desire to serve the people, but by personal gain and the desire for power. His campaign is characterized by empty slogans and meaningless rhetorics, a reflection of the broader political culture in Nigeria at the time. Go to me uses the Kojo Brown's character to critique the lack of genuine leadership and the prevalence of opportunism in Nigerian politics. The play's conclusion is both humorous and thought-provoking. The Koja Brown's political campaign is ultimately a failure, and he is left to face the consequences of his actions. His wives, particularly Lisa, assert their independence leaving him to grapple with the reality that he is no longer in control. This ending serves as a powerful statement on the need for change in both the political and domestic spheres. It suggests that the old ways of doing things, whether in politics or in the household, are no longer viable in a rapidly changing society. In conclusion, our husband has gone mad again is a masterful satire that uses humor to critique the political and social structures of post-colonial Nigeria. Through the character of Lekoja Brown and his interaction with his three wives, Rotimi explores the complexities of power, gender, and tradition. The play's sharp wit and insightful commentary make it a timeless work that continues to resonate with the audiences today. This message is clear. True progress can only be achieved when individuals, particularly those in positions of power, are willing to adapt and embrace change.